Everyone seems to think that drive-by wire is better. And I chose not to do drive-by wire on this EFI 911. And here's why. Obviously this is a small car, but it doesn't get any more spacious here at the pedal assembly. I suppose I can put a throttle position sensor down there inside the tunnel, but that just seemed like too much fabrication and wiring. And then back here in the engine, you would need dual servo motors to drive left and right banks, and you also would need dual position sensors for the throttle shafts. The Mtron ECU in this car is excellent, but it cannot do dual outputs for drive-by wire. So that would mean you have to upgrade to the next Mtron level, which I think is the KV8. That's like another thousand bucks. And I suppose you could get by with one servo motor to actuate both left and right banks, but at that point you have a mechanical linkage, so what's the point? One of the nice things about drive-by wire is that it's good for cold start. It can hold open the throttle bodies when the engine's cold and get just the right amount of air in there. But I have an idle control valve on this engine and it's tucked away where you can hardly see it. And it does the exact same thing with software electronically. This guy is way smaller than even one servo motor. So it's less cluttered here in the engine bay. So I do have a mechanical linkage that ties the left and right throttle bodies together. And I like to be able to come back here and just grab this thing and rev it up. Mine's a cable drive, which gives similar adjustability as drive-by wire. I can change the shape of this curve right here to adjust when the power comes in. Do you want it to come in immediately when you hit the pedal? or do you want it to come in more in the half mid-range part of the pedal travel? Synchronization on this engine so far has been great. The other nice thing about drive-by wire is it offers things like launch control. But on this car, it's a vintage hot rod. I don't think launch control is needed. Mtron does have something called torque management. So if you wanna reduce the power in first gear, you can, but wheel spin in a car like this, rear engine is not a problem. And I might be a bit old school on this, but I like to feel a little bit of the engine vibration here in my foot. Porsche actually puts a piece of rubber on the throttle linkage to absorb some of those vibrations because it's so good. Why get rid of that? 